View content event is very crucial to your TikTok ads manager. It helps your ads manager decide which dynamic ads it is going to show to your audience based on what kind of products they are viewing on your Shopify page. So in this video, we are going to see how you can configure view content event using Google Tag Manager and TikTok Pixels. This video has been divided into four different sections. In the first section, we will see how you can add Google Tag Manager container on your Shopify store. In the second section of the video, we will be seeing how we can add TikTok base configuration tag in Google Tag Manager. In the third section of the video, we will be writing scripts in the Shopify store that will trigger the view content event in the data layer. And in the fourth section of the video, we will be creating the tags to track that view content event and finally publishing all the changes. Let's just head over to my computer so we can get Google Tag Manager web containers head code and paste that in our Shopify store. So on your Google Tag Manager web container, you can go to the admin section of the container and click on install Google Tag Manager container. This option will give you two different tracking snippets. The first one is the head tracking code and the second one is body tracking code. Go back to the Shopify store and click on themes. Under the action button, click on three dots and click edit code. This will take you to the theme.liquid file on your Shopify store and we are going to locate where our head section is. And right below the head section, we are going to paste the code we copied from Google Tag Manager container. Now let's do the same thing for the body code. Let's copy the code and go back to the Shopify store and search for the opening body tag. Let's hit next. And for me, the body tag is on line 253. So I'm going to create some space right underneath it and paste the code. Let's hit format code so everything looks pretty and hit save. This will track all the events on your Shopify page. However, this will not track anything on the slash checkout route. If you want to make sure that you are tracking all the events on the checkout pages, click on this video where we will guide you how to track events on your Shopify thank you pages. Perfect. Now let's just make sure that our Google Tag Manager container is firing on all the pages of the website. So let's hit, let's go back to the Google Tag Manager container and workspaces and hit the preview button. Now let's hit connect on this debug window. What this is going to do, it will connect a temporary debug view to our Shopify store where we can see all the events and tags and triggers that are firing. Perfect. If you have installed this Google Tag Assistant legacy extension, you can see that we have Google Tag Manager containers successfully firing on the page. If the tag is green, that means everything is working all right. If it is blue, that also means everything is working all right. The only thing we want to be careful of is the red tag. We don't want to see that. All right, so now we have the Google Tag Manager container successfully firing on the website. And now we need to make sure that we have TikTok pixels configuration tag on our Google Tag Manager container. So let's just head back to our TikTok pixel and under the tools section on our ads manager, let's click on event. What this is going to do will redirect you to the pixel manager on your TikTok. Let's click on web events since we are dealing with Shopify and Shopify is a web platform. I already have a pixel, so let's just go directly to that pixel. If you don't have any pixels for your account, you can create new pixels just by hitting next. The thing that we are looking for is this TikTok ID. However, for the base configuration tag, we also need the base script. And to find that script, you can click on add events on the bottom corner and click manual setup. What this is going to do, it will show you the pixel script that you can paste in your Google Tag Manager container. Let's hit skip this step because we are not using the API. We are just using Google Tag Manager to add all the events. Let's hit view instruction on custom code. This will take you to the page where you can find the pixel code. Perfect. Let's copy this code and go back to the Google Tag Manager web container. And under tag sections, we are going to create a new tag which will fire on all the pages of the website. So let's select a trigger that fires on all pages. And for the tag type, we are going to go with a custom HTML tag. We also need to create a variable for this pixel ID. So let's copy this one and let's rename it to CHTML TikTok configuration tag. Perfect. 
let's create a variable so in future if we are going to reuse this same tiktok pixels we can refer to the variable instead of copy and pasting it again and again from the browser so let's create a constant variable and let's rename it to tiktok pixel id great let's go back to the tags and update the pixel id with the variable that we have just created to do that you can remove the pixel id and click on double curly braces and then select double curly braces and then select tiktok pixel id and hit save now we need to do a test to make sure that our page view event is successfully firing on all the pages of the website so let's hit preview what this section is going to do is this will again connect the debug window to our shopify store and if you have installed the pixel helper for tiktok you will see the page view events and all the tiktok pixels that are firing on your website uh, ignore the warning sign because we are using google tag manager so this warning sign is going to stay there so this is successfully firing the page view event now we need to make sure that we have the view content script on our shopify store so this is the third section of the video where we are going to see how we can create this script all right you can find a link in the description which will redirect you to a blog post where you can find in-depth details about the script and once you have copied the script you can go back to the shopify store and we are going to create some snippets just to make sure everything is really nice and clean so let's create a first snippet for head section let's call it head data layer and we need one more snippet that will be for the product page so let's create one more snippet for data layer product and hit done perfect now you can paste the code that you have copied from the blog post and paste it right under the data layer snippet one and you can now copy the head data layer code and paste it right here great and now in your theme file, we are going to locate the body tag where we have added the Google Tag Manager body code. And right below the body code, we are going to call that function for the head data layer. To import any snippet, all you need to do is include and name of the snippet. So this will be head data layer. Great, let's do a little walkthrough to see what changes we have done so you actually understand the code and if you need to make any adjustment, you can make that. What this line of code is doing, this will import this head data layer script into the main page. And what this is doing is basically just checking if the user is on the product page, then it will fire this script. And this script, you might have guessed, this is looking very similar to Google Analytics for data layer structure. However, the only change we have is we are using custom underscore view underscore event instead of using the standard name of view underscore event. The reason for using custom underscore prefix is just to avoid any kind of data layer event name mismatch. Great. Now let's just go to any of the product pages on our Shopify store to see if the view content script is firing perfectly or not. So let's just go to any of the products and now let's go to the debug window. We can see that we have the custom view item event firing on our data layer, which has the currency and all the details of the item. That's awesome. Now we can create a tag in our Google Tag Manager container, which will track this event and send a view content event to the TikTok pixel. Let's go back to the tag section. And for this one, we are not going to use custom HTML because Dealing with custom HTML can be a little daunting. So we are going to use a TikTok tag that has been built by the awesome community we have on our Google Tag Manager. Let's search for TikTok. And we are going to use the tag that has been created by TikTok team. Let's click add. Great. Now let's go to the tag section and create a new tag. And since we want this tag to only fire on the custom view item event, so we are going to create a new trigger that will be based on a custom event. And since we don't want to make any mistakes with the spelling, let's just copy the name of this event and go back to the Google Tag Manager trigger section and rename this to custom event, custom view item. Perfect. Now we have a trigger that will only fire the tag on this custom view item event. So let's go to the tag configuration and select the new tag that we have just created. For the pixel ID, we can import the pixel ID that we just created at the beginning of the video. And since this event is view content, we are going to select view content. 
we don't have any kind of user details so we can leave this as empty and for the object properties we are going to send great now we are going to add some properties but since we are using google analytics for data layer we can just use this check mark and this will do everything for us however we still need to add the currency parameter for us the currency parameter is inside this e-commerce.currency so we can just create a data layer variable that will capture that thing so let's create a data layer variable that will get the currency from e-commerce.currency and let's rename this one to dlv e-commerce.currency and hit save great now we can save this tag as tiktok eec view content and the only thing left right now is to make a test event to make sure everything is working all right so let's do a preview on our google tag manager container and hit connect once the debug window is connected with our website we are just going to go on any of the product pages so we can see if the tiktok pixel event is properly firing on that page once you click on any of the product page we can go to the debug window to see if the view content event is firing and the tag is also properly firing on the page we can see that it has send view content event however we need to verify that through the pixel helper too so here we can see that we have sent the value and we have sent the contents array directly from our e-commerce parameter that's awesome so the only thing left is to make sure that these changes are not in the debug mode and they are also live on the website. So let's hit submit and make these changes publish. TikTok view content. Now you are successfully tracking view content event on your Shopify store. However, this is not really going to work if you don't have add to cart event working properly fine on your store. Because if TikTok Pixel does not know how many users are adding your products to the cart, it cannot optimize for that conversion action. So in the next video, we are going to see how you can create add to cart event for your TikTok Pixel using Google Tag.